So this is my podcast um, for talk time. Today's video is about my journey with my own personal near-death experiences. One at nine years old and one at 19. Please enjoy this bit of information. And uh, if you'd like to give any feedback, that would be wonderful. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you'd like. Thank you. Enjoy. I had two near-death experiences in my lifetime so far. And I had one at age nine, where I went to hell. And I had one at age 19, to which I believe I went to heaven. Both times, um, God or the entities or the spiritual being that was in my nightmare-like experiences, they were like dreamlike state that I was in, um, told me it was not my time to die. And I had more things to accomplish in life. And this is just uh, a summary of my experiences. Now my first experience, which I consider a nightmare dream near death experience, I, I think it was near death and I did probably die uh, due to the nature of the situation. I had um, at age nine, the experience involved me becoming anorexic and nearing 50 pounds in weight at, at five foot six inches tall. One of my sisters had stated one day, I'm going to wake up to a dead skeleton. And I do believe that I did die. Now, it felt like a nightmare more than a near death experience, but I do believe I went to hell. I was walking through a blackened city. The trees were barren without any leaves and pitch black. Um, the sky was black. There were no stars. The streets were black. There were abandoned buildings, abandoned vehicles, no sight of any people. And as I walked through the darkness, I saw a light to the left of me. And after seeing the light, I walked towards it. It was in a building. I opened the door and I saw an illuminated room with smoke and mist and there were arms reaching upward asking me for help. They were reaching up um, reaching up on my legs. Just as everything was black, I was dressed in black from head to toe. And the hands and arms tried to grab at my legs. I walked out of this room and building and suddenly a gust of wind drove me to walk steadfastly toward a cave. As I looked inward inside the cave, I saw a large black boiling tar pit. Surrounding the tar pit were hooded people walking in clockwise direction and they were chanting. Now I tried to get leverage so I wouldn't fall into the tar pit by holding onto the cave walls on either side of me. Like Jesus Christ holding, you know, with the, with the arms spread to the sides. Around my neck was a necklace with a tiny book talisman, a tiny little book that was a talisman hanging around my neck on a chain. The book rose in midair while hanging around my neck and it opened up. It became large, just like a six by nine inch book. The pages began to turn and then suddenly stopped at a certain page. And then suddenly I rose from the ground and began to fly upward into the sky. I rose to the earth and I saw trees, plants, grass, the blue, wonderful blue sky, the sun. And um, it was then when I came to, when I came back up to alive and woke up from this nightmare is when I realized that I was in hell. And God, apparently the good God, or this spiritual being um, did, didn't think it was my time to join the afterworld. So um, that was my first experience. Now at age 19, I also had another nightmare dream 
or near-death experience. And um, at 19, I became engrossed with a binge eating disorder from because of all that I was dealing with. At 130 pounds, I could not control my portions. And that's because I was dealing with a lot of issues that I turned to food for comfort reasons. I got really sick. And there was one, at one point, I think I died in my sleep. And I had a near-death experience. I dreamt that I was walking with my mother through a tunnel. And it led to a room that was illuminated. It was a courtroom setting and it was all golden. My mother and I sat in our seats. They were fold-up chairs. The room was partially empty and there were other people sitting. Suddenly, around six or maybe nine tiny, bald-headed angels stood beside a throne and a judge's station in the courtroom. One of the angels was holding a book. The large golden doors opened and a being that appeared to be or I interpreted to be God was being carried on a lift pedestal by the bald angels. They placed God on his throne. He looked human, but his face kept changing into everything and anything imaginable that is alive and dead. Um, the angel to God's left side was holding the book and handed it to God. And then suddenly God opened the book and called my name. He said, Sidvat. So I walked to... I had to walk up to the station and sit on God's right side. I was afraid to look at God because his head was so large and everything imaginable was flashing on his face and head. All living things and dead things were living, were flashing in, on his face. Then his eyes guided me to look at the book as God turned the pages. As God turned the pages from, from mind to mind, he said this, um telepathically this is the past not so good this is the present not so good and this is the future but though god did not say whether the future would be good or bad i sensed it to be better and positive and as i looked at the pages there were moving pictures like watching movies on each page as he turned the pages then i woke up or became came back to life and in this situation i think i was in heaven though my mom who is alive was in the dream um it was like um, a situation between me and this being that I consider to be God. Um, it could, I don't know if it was Satan, if it was Jesus Christ, if it was God, because I was so afraid of him. Um, and uh, so since when thinking of these two experiences, which I used to think were nightmares or dreams, and after watching a couple of shows, on the internet, such as the Randy K show and another show that had uh, discussed a boy, young boy who was raised by two lesbian women, um, and his connection, his um, being reunited with God and religion and Jesus Christ and stuff like that. I kind of uh, compared my situation with all these people that are were interviewed on these shows and realized that they weren't nightmares or dreams. They were actually, they were really near-death experiences, and I must have died. And in one dream, or one situation, I went to hell at 9, and in the other situation at 19, I went to heaven. Um, at 9, I was engrossed with anorexia, and at 19, I was engrossed with a binging problem. Um, and I realized these things that, um, each experience involved a book. Each experience was religious. I went to hell in one and heaven in the other. And each time I was told it was not my time to die. Uh, not in those words, but that was the message I got. Like there was more, I had to accomplish more in life. Now, things have manifested in my life since then, and I have realized that these experiences made me believe there is a God, firstly, and secondly, that both experiences made me have hope in a better future. As I endured a lot of suffering growing up previous to the near-death experiences, that I have come to survive. So, I hope this message gets to the ears and minds of people who may be experiencing suffering with eating disorders and 
whatever you're dealing with in life and gives you hope in a better future and to work towards and betterment in your health and in your your life situation and I hope and um, wish for you also to have a better situation and in betterment in your life more positive things coming your way just like I'm working towards my own aspirations in life um, I hope you are also and I hope this um, video motivates you to do that.